letters? And you all see um, a sheet in front of you? Well, that's related to our continuation on survival. Today we're going to watch a film. Do I have your attention? Okay, good. And uh, the film that we are going to watch is titled Into the Wild. The synopsis is up here, but let me tell it to you. In just a couple of sentences. The film is about a young man who just got out of college and who decides to reject the conventions of society, including friends and family, because he believes that in going to the wilderness and in living in the midst of his solitude, he will achieve arete. You know what that means? Yeah. Okay. Now, while you're watching the film, I want you to all be in tune with your emotions. What is it that you're feeling while you're watching this movie? And understand why you are feeling what you do. Is it something to do with the acting, the writing, the dialogue? Is it the cinematography? Is it the music? How do all of these elements join together in order to tell a powerful story? Because one thing you should know about stories is that in order for the reader or the viewer to think, the creator of that story needs to appeal to the emotion, to the heart. Because in understanding why you feel what you do when you're watching a movie or reading a book, you need to be able to understand what is happening in the story and why it is moving you emotionally. In doing that, you, be, you will be able to get into the heart and the soul of the story. You will be able to understand what the meaning of the story is. And all that will help you answer the reflection area and the prompt questions that are to follow. And also, remember this. Let this be a lesson in writing. Because what you are learning up there, or what you're seeing up there, can be translated to what you do when you write. Because before this was made into a movie, this was a book. This is a true story. Now, how many of you have seen films that are based on books? That happens a lot, right? The reason that happens is that books are excellent resources for movies. And that is because when you write, you are not just the writer, but you're also the actor, the script writer, the light technician, the dress designer, the cinematographer, all combined. Because what you do when you write is you create a world born of your imagination and your memories on paper. Because notice that when you read, you feel as though you're living a life that was created for you on that page. So you're doing the same thing. And uh, lastly, I want to bring your attention to the content warning before we start the movie. There will be scenes here that might be too sensitive or disturbing for you to watch. So if that's the case, then just bow your head or feel free to leave the room or raise your hand and we'll understand. So on that note, let's begin the movie.